Roam Research is a cool new app in the note-taking, personal knowledge management community. It has many great features such as a what you see is what you get editor, collapsible bullets, bi-directional linking, block references, block mentions, block embeds, block tags, nested tags, custom CSS, graphs, code blocks, image support, table support, Kanban, checklist, and so much more. However, it also has a price tag of $15 a month, and all your data is stored in the cloud. So this makes you reliant on Roam Research for all of your personal data. This brings us to Obsidian.md, which is a free markdown editor that shares many of Roam Research's features with markdown files. One feature that makes it more appealing is that all your data is also stored locally on your computer. Moreover, Obsidian is free for personal use, which makes it more accessible than Roam Research. However, you can also pay for Obsidian and support the amazing developers who bring updates every couple of days. This gives you access to features such as early access to insider builds, access to exclusive developer channels, and priority support. You can also choose add-on services which can allow you to sync your notes and publish your notes. One of the features I really love about Obsidian.md is that all the files are stored locally on your computer. This means that you own your own data. When Obsidian.md is no longer available, you can still access your files in a common markdown format. You can then choose to open your files in the hypothetically no longer supported Obsidian application or other markdown viewers such as the default system text app, Atom or Tapora. This is something that we should all strive towards so that we can all be tech independent. However, if you want to sync your notes in the cloud, you can either support the Obsidian.md developers by paying for the premium plans, or you can sync your files on any cloud services such as Dropbox or Google Drive. This will allow you to access your files on other computers, tablets, and mobile devices. If you want to edit the markdown files on your mobile devices, you can use the OneWriter app on iOS or the IA Writer app on Android. Another thing that I love about Obsidian is the community behind it. Obsidian has a Discord server that you can join via their website. This Discord server is pretty active with different channels for you to chat to like-minded individuals who also like building a personal knowledge management system and a second brain. There's also a forum where people can discuss about feature requests, bug reports, custom CSS, plugins, PKM, and everything else Obsidian. Obsidian has a key features that will probably be used if you have used Roam Research or similar tools such as wiki-style backlinks and a graph view showing you how your notes are connected. There are also many plugins that you can enable to customize Obsidian to your needs, such as File Explorer, Quick Switch, Tags, Word Count, Slides, Audio Recorder, Page Preview, Markdown Format Converter, Daily Notes, Zellcast and Prefixer, and Custom CSS. Custom CSS allows you to customize the look of Obsidian. You can check out the amazing themes that people in the community have created in the Community Themes section. At the end of the day, instead of searching for the best new productivity application and transferring files from one node to another, we should make sure that we actually get things done. We also need to make sure our second brains are in easily readable format 50 years down the line, instead of dot application name. Thus, I feel that Obsidian satisfies the best of both Roam research and the plain text journal method, allowing users to create files locally while still providing features such as backlinks and graph view. So do check out Obsidian over at obsidian.md and thank you for watching.